What the how? I've always wanted to go to an NBA game, and now I can watch one as an analog horror. Woohoo! This is the 98. Okay. NBA on NBC. Alright. Showtime. It is. Oh, it's the All Star game. Okay. All right, cool. Madison Square Garden, of course. Madison Square Garden in New York City. Mm-hmm. Just a few moments ago, the Western Conference All Stars. Kobe Bryant. Four of the twelve Western stars, including 19-year-old Kobe Bryant, are from the Los Angeles Lakers. But the star of stars is still Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. God, this is old. We got Michael Jordan now. Oh my God. Tonight, and what wow. could be his final all-star appearance. It could be. Maybe. Hopefully not, though. The man many have dubbed the next Michael Jordan. Of course, that's a bit silly. There will be no next Michael Jordan, but... Why are you already saying there will be no next Michael Jordan? I mean, why wouldn't there be? The combination of skill and flair that Kobe Bryant... Bit weird, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? already captivated the country. Kobe definitely brings the skill and the flair. Mm -hmm. He's a very exciting player. He's entertaining. The thing that I'm amazed at at a very young age is he already understands how to entertain the fans. And he and Michael yeah. Jordan have promised us in their interviews that they will put on the show here today. Let's hope they do put on a show then. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? I mean, to be honest, like I like New York Knicks and the Phoenix Suns in my from watching NBA like on TV. I've never been able to watch one, which kind of annoys me. But this is closest I'm gonna get, well, at least on YouTube, anyway. Glenn Rice of the Hornets with 26 points in the game and a record okay. 20 in one period was the MVP. Now Michael Jordan comes to this All Star game without Scottie Pippen and without Phil Jackson. Okay. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can get. Go on, get it in there, bro. Anthony Hardaway is a not known for Throw it. But more so for scoring. <laughs> Throw it in. The head's big on Garnett. Ah, oh, look at Michael. There we go. Oh, let's go, bro. Oh yeah. So much for Love it. Sick. He looks well happy. Whoa, okay, what the hell's going on, bro? I was watching that. I was actually getting well into it. January 47 is off air. Alright. Why though? What's going on? There is no use. What? Are you going to kill Michael Jordan? What the hell? Oh, uh, what's all the eyes, bruh? Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. What is this? I don't like this. That dancing thing creeping me out, bruh. What the frick? Oh, man. I can't even look at it. These visuals are horrible. Ugh, making me shake. What are you wanting from, bro? Oh my god, what the hell is that? Dude, what is happening? I Those images really creep me out, actually. That is horrible. I actually am quite cold. It's over now. What's over? What's over? Now, both of those guys play every huh? summer against the game's nearly over. The what? Recreation league. Really? Kevin you just interrupted my program. Just now we're probably going to die. He can say as he does in those commercials that it was tastefully done. And if I'm all these young guys right now, knowing that this may be Michael Jordan's last game... That is really creepy, right? If you look at what the comment the commentary says, they're like, oh, the, the adverts for entertainment, and this might be Michael Jordan's last game. Bro, what the hell? Going to a funeral service. Odd. I don't know if I like the sound of this, but I guess we'll find out, right? It's a full broadcast as well. Why is it full? Why can't it be a part? 
<laughs> can't, I can't just be a part of it, so it's easier. No subtitles either, so that's cool. And this is brought to us by St. Andrew's Christian Church. That looks creepy, so dark like that. I know that's the whole point of it, but it looks, that looks not a very nice place. What the hell is that? Dude, what is this? What's that meant to be? Oh, it's the church. All right, ignore me. <laughs> it's the top of the church. I'm like, what the hell? Okay. So we're in the US because of the flag. All right. Okay. These statues really creep me out, man. Like every time. So creepy, man. Jesus on the cross. Imagine going to a funeral service like this, though. It would, I, I wouldn't even take a step in there, I don't think. Pretty eerie, man. <clears throat> oh, God. The thing is, like, there's not really anything going on, but it's just the eerie feeling of, like, imagining being there in, in that at this service, you know? Creeping me out already. Music definitely gives it a good vi uh, the vibe, the creepy vibe. Oh, uh, whoa, okay. How, dude? Quite horrific, if I'm honest. Look at all the people there, dude. A Lo lot of people. Must be for a well-known person, I guess. Whoa, what the hell was going on there? Whoa. What the hell? Alright. Don't know who they were, but there were some people there. Where the hell are we? Whoa, see that image pop up? Bruh, what the hell? Oh, no. That concludes for our broadcast today. Yeah, thank God for that. I don't think I'm going to be going to a funeral service anytime soon. <clears throat> Not like that. Oh, my God, dude, that was horrible. Oh, no, I don't like that. Some Gemini vibes here with a skinwalker attack. I don't know. I've had another skinwalkers recently, but we'll see if there's any what's going on with the other lot, the other world of beyond birth. <laughs> that looks very cold. You can catch me going in that, mate. It's no snow angels for me. No, thank you. I don't think you would ever, like I say, I would not be going in there. No way in how. I want to say it looks peaceful, but and it should, but it just seems eerie. I think it's the music giving me that vibe, though, to be honest. All right, there we are. Hmm. Whoa, special police. I come out of nowhere then. That made me jump a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like, what? So, date October 30th, 2023. So, we're in the future, are we? Okay. Okay. Collector is M. Johnson. Okay. I want to know their first name, though. Anyway, it's fine. Investigation tape number 74. Well, have we gone so far to 74? Make it 69. Victim is R. Owen. I'm going to say Romeo Owen. Random name, I know, but why not? Video will start now. Well, I'm going to pause it for a second so it doesn't start now. I'm only messing. Let's just do it. I don't think I could wait any longer. 
I just want to see the video. So get me in. <laughs> get me in there. Quick time. I'm only messing. All right. What's going on? What's that in the background there? Like the red thing? Looks red. What is it? This is so eerie, man. Like, imagine being out there on your own. What's that on the floor? Is that just rubbish? I think it's rubbish, isn't it? I don't know, but what the hell is that thing on the, over there, though? Whoa. Why would you breathe so heavily, bro? Like, I know you're scared, but flipping heck. I think you are. <laughs> Tube in there. What the hell is that? Oh, God. That's Game Walker's mating call. I want to know what that red thing is. I'm really intrigued now. Whoa! What the hell? Like he just no clipped. I know he didn't, but it just it just think it just think makes me the thing of the back rooms. I literally don't know what to say about that. I literally think, what the hell? That was a little bit random. Oh my god, dude. What the hell is going on? Oh, that makes me creep that creeps me out. That noise is ugh. It's good, but it just Now we're looking at a tree. Nice tree, mate. Needs a bit of a needs a bit of a cut though. Oh, that noise, dude. Sounds like someone's been strangled. I don't know. I'm honestly questioning what's just happened. I don't know if you guys have got any idea, but I don't. Skinwalker's done summit. Breaking news. Woohoo! I am alive. The breaking news. <gasps> Rat is alive. Local man found dead in Unser Forest. Unser Tree and Forest. Oh, Under Tree and Forest, I was meant to say. So Ro Ronald, his name was, was 27 when he was found dead. Okay. All right. Feels a bit bad for Ronald. It wasn't Romeo, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> oh, no. That was really good. That was good. That was all right. I like the noise. It definitely gave us Skinwalker vibes from, you know, Gemini. Stuff like that. Not that I'm saying it's copied Gemini because it hasn't, but it's definitely got that vibe and I like it. It's good. There we are. So that was Beyond Birth's analog horror videos, guys. I thought I'd check them out today. Something a bit different. Um, content, I'll be fair, has been a bit dry with analog horror recently. So I, I've been trying to find something to do and I've got a few other videos obviously on, on the go. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction either way. I gotta keep getting the content out guide out for you guys either way, so there we are. Yeah, thank you for watching. Go and check out the creator Beyond Birth. Drop them a sub if you liked their content. They do a lot of other stuff as well, not just Analog Horror. And if you like my reaction, consider subscribing and liking the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Keep it locked.
and leave me alone.